Hey there everybody, this is Ira and I'm back with more Heavens of Sorcery, yay! You can see that I have got my very first piece of diamond armor, I'm gonna need more pretty soon. Uh, I have made some serious progress, as a matter of fact, I actually started over. Um, there was an update to the testing pack, and uh, Phoenix Lodge said I shouldn't need to generate a new world, but I really hadn't gotten very far, and I thought I would rather start fresh, just in case. So I started fresh, as you can see I have made a bit of progress here, um, I have... Expanded the island. It's a bit bigger. I've got myself a cobble generation system over here, which is working pretty well I have done all kinds of things with the mana and stuff uh, You can grind up chili peppers in here and you get chili powder which can be uh, used to create lava and I think it can also be used to make redstone Yeah, I think so Yep, yep throw it into the fire um, I Think you need No same trick. I haven't, I haven't done that one yet, obviously. It's not completed, that quest. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can do that. Let's see if we can if we can make a redstone. So we need chili powder into, into fire. Looks like it should just be one-to-one. -one. Let's take some chili. Throw it in here. You stick it in there. You right-click. Uh, I don't think you have to hold it down. I think you can just press it once. And it'll go around. And it'll give me a chili powder. Come on, give me. There we go. I've got a chili powder. Give it to me. It's a bit odd in this pack. Uh, you have to be real, real close to stuff to pick it up for the most part, which is a little bit, a little bit tough. Um, I don't want to use that. This has got a block of charcoal under there, which I got from a, a, a uh, quest reward. I can make another block of charcoal, can't I? That wouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. We can just do that. We can. Look, I just did. I did it. Make another one of these. And we'll just stick this here. We can make our little a little flaming pit here. If we just toss that in there. There we go. No. That's just chili powder. Alright, I think I might need more than one. I remember this being an issue last time. Oh no, no, it's transforming. I just gotta wait. Yay! Cool. Awesome. So I just got my first redstone. Huzzah! Awesome. Um, the current quest that I'm working on, and this is the Almost the last one in this chapter is Hellbound. Now, hold on a sec. I do want to stop and uh, make a note. Phoenix Lodge suggested I should point this out. There are other chapters in here called Useful Miscellanea. And um, all of these are quests that don't give rewards. They're not here for progression. They're just here to teach you about mechanics that you might not be aware of. So this is teaching you about the chisel, how to make that. Builder's Wands, which I have made. I do have a Builder's Wand. Chisels and Bits, Architectural Shape, and now we've got Simul Sax Transductors, which, oh my goodness, I, I'm not even going to get into it right now. I just wanted to point out that that's there. This is not a progression one. This is just like a, a learn how to use the stuff one, which is pretty cool. I'm going to throw this in a chest. Now, you might notice a thing down there. There's a thing down there, and I'm going to get to that thing in a moment. Uh, I just want to point out a couple of other things. Um, I showed you... Juicing, juicing the berries, juicing the iron berries. Apparently, if you put a slab up like this at this height, right, you can um, you can jump a lot faster. Oh, I think you have to mash the button. You can't just hold the button down. If you hold the button down, it'll still go the normal speed, but if you mash it, you can go quicker, which is good if you're trying to get a lot of juice in a short amount of time. Um, I'm not going to show you everything that I've done. I'm thinking this over, and I, I do want to leave some of this pack to be a bit of a mystery, leave some of it to be discovered when the pack finally comes out, whenever that may be, and uh, let you folks enjoy that on your own. I don't want to spoil everything. Other people are probably going to spoil everything, and that's also fine, but I've thought it over, and I want to leave some gaps in here. I just want to show you some highlights every now and then. So as you may have guessed, I am going to be going to the nether. I, mean, I am nether bound. I'm going to bring... I do not have a proper... Actually, I could I could make a proper weapon, couldn't I? Get one more diamond in there. Um, I don't think I'm going to need that or those. I'll bring my pick. I don't know what we're going to find in there. I am going to bring my wand just because I'm not sure what's going to be there. Um, or whether we're going to be able to magic anything out of there. So I got an iron sword. I got some blocks here. I don't intend to go in there for long right now. I'm just going to go in and see what what it's all about. So I think to complete this one, yeah, I just need to get to the nether. I need to travel to the nether. And uh, we've got our standard nether portal here. So I made lava up there with the chili powder and some magic and stuff. And uh, I, I molded most of this. I, first I was making the obsidian and then mining it and bringing it down here. And then I was like, I could just, I could just make, make myself a nether portal mold. Um, so that's what I'm doing there. Take that just in case of emergencies. I just got my one piece of armor. You know what? I'll at least put some iron armor on. I don't know how dangerous the nether's gonna be. Maybe it'll just be a void. I don't know. 
I'm not sure. I don't remember. I did play this far last time that I uh, tested out the pack. When it was a very, very, very early days. But I don't remember. Let's just put on some iron armor just in case. I know that there will very soon be um, some proper fighting going on. So let's head in here. Let's head in here. Let's see. I'm terrified. I'm always terrified. The longer a tree grows, the more wood it will produce. Good to know. Loading in the terrain. And, um, yeah, we'll see. Maybe this is just... Oh my goodness. I appear to be right in the middle. <laughs> so we do not have a, a void nether. I am right... Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, this is not safe. This is not safe. I'm going back. <laughs> I would like to be better equipped before I head in there. Uh, I saw I saw a blaze, and I am not... I'm not ready. Anyway, I got my reward. <laughs> goodness gracious, the nether's terrifying, isn't it? Hell's Constructs and Hell's Bounty. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go through and explore. Man, I'm right in the middle of a fortress. Uh, these are the important things that I'm gonna need to get. You need to get an amethyst and some gold. And um, this, this, I think, I, actually, I think you create the amethyst. Amethyst harvested from ores. Oh, okay. Gold coveted by the zombie pigmen. Otherwise, you can expose slivers of quartz to liquid mana transform it into gold nuggets. Okay. So you don't necessarily have to fight, but since I did spawn right in the middle of another fortress there, combat is probably gonna be inevitable. Now, some of you may know me as a big, scaredy baby. Um, if you have watched anything on this channel before, you probably know that I am indeed a big, scaredy baby. Oh my god, I'm running low. I'm running low already on uh, charcoal. I was going to make some more diamond stuff, make some diamond armor. But maybe I'll just go in there and be brave. What do you think? Should I just go in there and be brave? I feel like... No, I shouldn't be brave. We've got these flames here, by the way. I'm not sure if this is just added in the latest version to warn you that being too close to it is dangerous because some people were upset that they were getting hurt by falling trees. They didn't realize. They didn't realize that trees are going to hurt them. Which I can kind of understand that being a little frustrating. Stick that in there. Um, all right, so we won't we won't do the... Um, I won't do any more iron... Iron? Iron? Diamond armor, because that's going to take too long. Let's see if I can remember. How do you make a shield? How do you make just a vanilla shield? I think there are other shields in here as well, but... Yeah, I don't think I can make any of those yet. So just a regular vanilla shield is right. Like this. Like this. Like this. There we go. I got there in the end, my friends. And... Um, I can try and quickly throw up a barrier. On the other side there. Put this on. You cannot hit me. They still will be able to hit me. Um, they will still be, yeah, they will still be able to harm me pretty easily. I'm going to need to put up a barrier so that I don't lose this, this uh, portal. And this is going to be quite difficult, I think. Let's get the first. We'll just kind of uh, build a little thing here. I already see bad guys off in the distance. It's terrifying. It's terrifying to me. I don't like it. And... We'll just... Relatively safe? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, the sounds have begun. Okay, so now that I've got... I'm relatively safe. I can't believe I spawned in the middle of a fortress. Now, I don't know if this is... Uh, if this is a, if this always is the case. However, the things that I need to get, according to the quest book. Oh my goodness. I need netherrack, soul sand, sand and gravel, and I also need gold and quartz. So I need to mine, basically. I do need to go mining. Let me just oh my goodness. The gas I don't like them. I don't like the noise that they make. It's a scary sound that they make. And this nether is it's a very scary nether. Whoa! Somebody is being mean over there. Somebody is trying to harm me. I don't like it. Hmm. I need to get somewhere where I can mine, is the thing. And I don't see any way to do that now. Maybe down here? Is this maybe the safest way? I'm gonna fall into lava and, and, and die, is the thing. I don't even have an iron pick. What am I doing, folks? Alright, I, I at least need an iron pick. That's clear, right? At least need an iron pick. All right. Make a better tool. At least we have that fast uh, nether portal thing. I don't know if you folks noticed, but you don't have to wait for the wavy lines and stuff. It just immediately takes you takes you back. 
which is good. Good at least. Okay. Um, maybe I'll turn the volume down on my speakers. <laughs> it's gonna turn. It's a good idea. I'm turning my speakers down so that I can't hear it. You folks can still hear the scary noises if you want to. Oh, there's that ghast. Hello, scary ghast. Um. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is going well, folks, isn't it? This is going great. I'm gonna mushroom. So there's that. Uh, I really wish that I had spawned not in a fortress is the thing. That is the thing. That is kind of the, the worry that I'm having at the moment. Is that this is an extremely dangerous place to start off. Is that that's soul sand over there? I see another rack over there. Uh-oh. Listen, friend. Listen, friend. Um, oh, did that despawn? Good. Good. Yeah, take that. Take that, you dang, you dang ghast. That's what you get. Oh, now there's blazes over there. Okay. Uh, I do want to show you folks a cool thing that is in this pack, and I don't know what mod does this, but if you back up, you see that little plus sign? Look at the cursor. It changes. It means you can place a block underneath another block, and that is a game changer, folks. It really is. Usually in Minecraft, going down is almost impossible. What is that? Oh gosh, there's extra scary mobs in this nether. It's not enough- it's not enough for you folks that we've got the regular scary mobs, we've got to have extra scary mobs? Whose idea was this? Phoenix Lodge, what are you trying to do to me? I don't appreciate this. I don't. Okay. Is there any mobs right here? I feel like I need to make myself a little wall. I'm sure some of you more experienced and less scaredy Minecraft veteran players are probably like, why are you such a baby? It's just another. It's not, it's not just another. It's scary here. Folks, it's scary. Don't be mean, all right? <laughs> Don't be mean to me just because I'm scared. All right, slowly making my way out. Still not an easy way down. Oh, no. Well, this is going to hurt, isn't it? Whoa, look at those fireballs. Uh... No, don't go- don't go there where I can't reach you. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't want to fight you. I just want to get over there to mine the stuff, and I'm gonna have to fight you before I can do that, aren't I? Oh, no, don't- I gotta move back over here and lure you back. This is not how I thought this video was gonna be, folks. This is not what I thought this video was gonna be about. <laughs> oh, man. I've, I've just got myself in such a pickle here. This is, um... No, come, come back this way, little friend. Come back this way, where I can hit you. Would you go away? Uh, nope. <laughs> oh no, I see something over there too. I don't like it. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. No, don't. Don't. You gotta come over here. This is unfair. I don't have a ranged weapon. Maybe I need a ranged weapon, huh? Maybe that's what I need. What's that? Oh my gosh. Portal's up there. I probably should put like a waypoint at the portal, huh? Maybe? Are we above? Yeah, we're above all kinds of dangerous lava. What are those things? They're so scary looking. Are they neutral and safe? Are they gonna harm me? Did that blaze despawn? I don't really want to go too far. Oh boy, I want to be safe. I want to do this in some kind of safe way if one of those exists. See something, uh, some, some kind of critter over there, which I, there's more of them down there. I suspect they want to do me harm. I just, I have a feeling they want to harm me and they're probably going to succeed. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Just, there we go. They are probably going to succeed. It's not difficult to harm me. I am not difficult to harm. I am weak and soft. Something running over here? All right, let's go see what it is. Let's go see what it is. Bonsai! Uh... What are you? Foxhound. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe they don't... Maybe they don't attack. Maybe I'm afraid for no reason. <laughs> What'd you give me? Blaze powder. Devil dust. I got my mushroom. Alright. We're doing fine. Everything's fine. Everything's great. What do I need? I need 30 netherrack. That's easy. Let's get 30 netherrack. That's the easiest part of this whole thing. And I do see some, uh, gravel. 
down below. I saw some gravel. Is that that's almost? Come on. I'm telling you that it's it's. Uh oh, we got some lag. Ooh, lag is scary in the Nether. Um, okay, got the Nether rack. I need ten soul sand, ten sand, and ten gravel. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. I did. I definitely saw. Where did I see? These things are terrifying me. I keep thinking that they're that they're bad guys. Oh no, he's still there. Or is it a new one? Oh no, I see wither skeletons as well. I don't like anything about this entire situation. Go away. Just go away. Go take a nap. Ah. <laughs> yeah, pay attention to this friend. I need a ranged weapon is what I need. I really do. I need a ranged weapon. Maybe I'll head back and try to make myself a ranged weapon. And uh, I, 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 this is going to take a little while, folks. I'll tell you what. I will check back into you when I've made a little bit of progress. All right, folks. I have been busy. I am back from the nether. I'm gonna be honest with you, my friends. It was sorely, sorely tempting to just cheat stuff in <laughs> rather than face the big scary monsters, but I did it. I did it. I did it the slow and careful and boring way. It would not have been fun to watch, but I did locate. I got netherrack. I got soul sand. I got a piece of nether brick for some reason. Um, I actually killed a wither skeleton. I got a piece of coal from that. We got some death stock mushrooms, some glowstone dust. I found eight amethysts while mining. Three Devil Dusts and four Blaze Powder from Killing Beasties. I got a little mushroom. And uh, this Basalt here. I got 66 Basalt. I've got 56 Nether Quartz. It was actually quite a fruitful little journey. Now, what do I need here? Let's look again at what I need. I need 30 Netherrack. Got that. 10 Soul Sand. Got that. What about the sand and the gravel? Well, folks, we can do that with magic. All we have to do is throw some Soul Sand in Mana in the Cauldron for sand. And the Basalt in mana in the cauldron for gravel. So let's do that. Let me get my stuff out of here. We can put most of these things in uh, in the chest here. Don't need them just now. Let's get a bucket. I'm use my wooden bucket. My wooden bucket of water. Oh, and I am gonna need some. Ooh, I've only got two of these. Well, we can always get some more. It's a little bit grindy though. Oh, I guess I don't wanna have my shield on me so that I can hold down the right mouse button. There we go, see I got three now. Four, five, eh, let's go for six. There we go, we got six. All right, I don't know how many we're actually gonna need. Now, I hope it's not gonna be a problem that this is over flame. We'll probably find out. So, I need, uh, first, I need 10 sand. So that's four sand, all right. So we'll just turn all our soul sand into sand. There we go, and then, uh, and basalt as well into gravel. There we are. Should work out nicely. One more. There we go. Those constructs completed, and I got a whole pile of sand now, which is excellent. I don't know what I need it for, but I'm sure I'll need it for something. Now, Hell's Bounty. We got the 10 nether quartz, we've got that, we got the amethyst. We don't have the gold, and I really don't want to go and fight zombie pigmen. So instead of that, we're going to take quartz slivers and we're going to turn them into gold. Now I only need, what, one? I only need one gold ingot. So, let us go. By the way, I got a bed. I got this bed. How did I make a bed? I, how'd you make a bed? There's no sheep, there's no string. Uh, you can make a bed out of thatch. You can make a bed, a yellow bed. There are various types of thatch in this pack. I think it's the quark one? Yeah, quark thatch with four wheat. And then you can use that to make a yellow bed. So I did that. So now I can actually pass the night if I need to. Usually I'm only doing that if it's raining because it's actually quite pretty at night. And it seems, by the way, that mob spawning in the overworld is disabled. So we really don't need to worry about the darkness. Um, by the way, I love when you look out at the stars. Look at that. They flicker and they twinkle. It's the stars, they twinkle, twinkle. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's beautiful. Okay, back to work, back to work. Come on, don't get distracted by shinies and pretties and things like that. So we've got nether quartz. How do we make the little shards? Oh, it's just in the crafting grid. Okay, how many of the, I need nine. I'm gonna need nine pieces of gold, right? Yeah, nine gold nuggets. Perfect, so that actually works out splendidly. I am gonna need more of these. Uh... Oh yeah, look at that. But, but, problem. I need more of these, these pasture seeds. What I really feel like I probably need to do 
is uh, just to stand here with an auto clicker program, right clicking the ground for a while just to get tons and tons. Because you do, you wind up needing tons of the things. Now I'm, I'm thinking potentially there will uh, pretty soon be a way to uh, get around that, the need for, for spam clicking the ground. We'll see. Got it! Oh, look at this beauty, look at this bounty. Okay, new chapters unlocked. We have completed the first chapter, Saving the World 101. Yay! Hold on, hold on. Let's, uh... Let's, uh... Yay! Alright, celebration over. Back to work. Let's go. Back to work. <laughs> chapter 2, we got Apprentice's Magics. So we've got Caster's Crux. And what's this? Sapphire's in the Sky Block. Okay. I haven't been reading most of the text, folks, because my voice will die. And also, you know, you folks, you're reading on your own when you play this pack when it comes out eventually. It's it's being worked on. It'll come out at some point. As an infant, you watched me weave many a spell, yet I was unable to teach you the art before this catastrophe. But now I think it is finally time. Your skill in the arcane arts has developed enough that I think it should be possible to introduce raw mana into your body without too many adverse effects. To do this, you will need a syringe and an orb of mana, both constructed of glass, Combine these two to create a mana booster light, which you can use to directly inject the mana into your body, enabling you to power spells. Well, that sounds terrifying, um, but we gotta do it. So we're gonna need some glass panes to make the empty syringe. We're gonna need empty syringe and a mana orb. How do we make a mana orb? Make a mana orb, we need a glass orb into mana. Does not consume any liquid. Done in world or in a cauldron. Okay, so we're gonna need a whole bunch of glass panes, is what I'm hearing here. This is what I'm hearing you say. Let's start with this many. Uh, let's cut charcoal randomly all over the place. There we go, I'll just leave that in there. All right, let that go. I need to do some inventory sorting pretty soon here, my friends. There is just so much stuff in here, and I have now reached the point where this is full. By the way, I made some apple pips uh, to plant these trees right here. Because I basically, I wanted to see what would happen. Because these trees will periodically drop um, They'll drop ironwood seeds, and they will drop the iron berries and things like that. I wanted to see if these would drop apples. This is a, It says dynamic oak tree, but then it says species apple. So I made these apple pips, which you make by... That's not how I did it. I did something... Else. Oh, here we go. Uh, wild berry juice, and throw in some iron berry seeds in there. To make the wild berry juice, you take the uh, these berries... Uh, where are they? These berries right here, and you, you throw them in the crushing tub, and you jump on them, and they go squish, 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 and then they make juice. That's how juice is made. I hope everyone has learned something important today. Okay, let's see how much we can get done here. We need one of these orbs, yeah? We got an orb. We need a syringe. Was it like that? It was like that. Now we need two. Ooh, there's four of these. Let's take one of these. Let's toss it in there. There we go. 100%. 100% and... Mana Booster Light! Hooray! I did it. Oh. Okay, that was an interesting bug. I think it was just a visual bug, though. Oh, I don't think these are supposed to stack. And yet. And yet. Okay. Got that one done. What's next? Spellcasting decoded. I may have been a competent spellcaster, but I certainly never achieved true mastery, so my tutelage cannot be considered gospel. The old masters, sticklers though they were, had the foresight to write self-writing books in the fabric of the universe. <laughs> well, that's convenient. <laughs> The right materials, you can imbue books with their otherwise lost knowledge. So we need a Spellforger's Codex. We need to take a book, and we need to drop it in mana. Well, that's not too hard, is it? Wait, is it? How do I make a book? I don't have any leather. Do I? Is there another way to make a book? I bet there is. Leather. Tell me there's another way. Tell me there's another way. Can I make leather? Rat pelt. Rat pelt? What? Rabbit hide. Uh, no, that's not gonna do it. Definitely not that. Witch's oven. I don't have any rotten, rotten flesh either. No, not mob. I don't think mob drops. Are there any mobs in the nether that can... No. Deer. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in here. Hmm. Well. Is there any other way to get a book? Dungeon. Hmm. I might need to go into a dungeon to get a book. I am not sure. 
I will certainly be asking uh, Phoenix Lodge about that. But let's skip that quest for now. We just need to. We just need to give myself a little more storage. I'm not organizing it right now. I'm gonna throw this in there, throw that in there. Okay, uh, let's look at a different quest because I am not sure how to get a book. Not sure. Uh, Angelic Imitator. If Mana injected into your veins, you should be ready to start slinging spells around right- Wrong! Mana is limited. Oh, goodness. So Crude Halo will let me know how much mana is in my body. Well, that looks easy enough. And I think I have four gold, right? I have six gold, as a matter of fact. Let's get- we've got three more orbs. Let's get some more. Er, up. Okay. And... Okay. Okay. I guess I didn't really need to take those three out, did I? So it was... What was it? Orbs in the corners. Orbs in the corners. Gold in the middle. Halo. Oh, look at I got more moon of mana boosters and blocks of quartz. Goodness gracious. I think... I put this on... Where do I put this on? Baubles? Oh, there... Ah! <laughs> Look at me! Look at me! I got Halo. I'm an angel. I'm an angel! See? I told you, everybody. Told you I was an angel. Now we all have the proof. Now, don't pay any attention to that metal rod holding up the Halo. I'm an angel. I'm a proper angel. Okay. Sorry, folks. I got excited for a second. <laughs> Uh, all right, we've got that. We've got that one done. Uh, oh, oh my goodness, so much, so much. I want to jump to this one because this is something that I started doing in the previous uh, testing version. So I actually have some idea what I'm doing here. So I think we need to take the amethyst and turn them into sapphires. I need one sapphire. Yeah, so I just need to throw an amethyst and a bucket of mana. Oh goodness, let's throw this up there. This is getting out of hand. I will, I will surely, surely, um, oh, this is not full. Does it have to be, it seems two bo bottles of liquid, okay. Yay, I did it. I did it again. I am doing great. And then there's these rituals, here we go. So I need to make a ritual table. I'm not used to this. I'm not used to the system. Okay, so I need two sapphire blocks. That's a lot. Wisdom wood planks, which I do have actually. I got some wisdom saplings and I grew some wisdom trees. They're very pretty. Amethyst and two more gold. I have two more gold ingots. That's all set. I have an amethyst. I don't think I have enough sapphire. Oh wait, maybe I do. There's eight. And there's nine. However, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to spam for some more mana here. I need more of these seeds. And we've got enough. Okay. Now we can make those blocks. Let's get the gold out of here. My last gold is gone already. A piece of paper. And let's see if I can remember that recipe. Let's see if I can do it. That was there. Well, first you gotta make these. Come on, Ira. One, two. Amethyst there. There was two gold. And there was a paper. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Oh, the wisdom wood planks. Of course! That's another brick. That's not- there we go. There's a wisdom wood. Look how pretty this wisdom wood is. This is this night dark brown? I'm gonna build something with that. That's a good building material. There we go. And the ritual table. And I- Well, I have a bed now. I can put it next to my other one that I already have. How about that? There we go. Look at that. I got a double bed. I got a double bed. Like a proper- proper- I don't know. Look at this. So it looks like an enchantment table. Reskinned. But this is not an enchantment table. This does all kinds of crazy stuff, but oh no! Oh no, my friends. I think that's gonna have to wait for next time. I think that might have to wait for next time because we're running out of time. Uh, so next time in the next video, we will use this ritual table and we will go and uh, we will- let me- hold on, let me, let me look at you folks while I'm talking. So you can see my halo. Uh, we will be going and doing some dungeon runs. Yeah, that's right. That's what this thing is for. It's gonna take us to a dungeon. Let me, let me just read this off the page. Yeah, it takes you to a dungeon. And, uh, just a few pages backwards for some reason. Uh, in the dungeon you find all kinds of crazy loot and all kinds of scary monsters. So yeah, that's gonna be exciting. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna enjoy watching me running around screaming and being terrified of Minecraft to death in the dungeons. But that's where we're gonna find all the loot. So we're gonna have to go and do that on the next episode. And until then, um, thank you so much for watching and I'll, I just, I just gotta see you next time. Bye!
Yeah, he's tanky, 42, he's got the answers to life and to you. Hi. Hello, I need to talk to Remo, son of Rob. Remo, if you're listening, I really hope you are. I've just come from you, from the future. I have come from your future to give you this important... Ah. No? Where'd he go? Oh, this important message. This is from you, from the future. This is dear past me. You have to start eating healthier. My life, our future depends on it. Please hurry, Remo, from the future. Remo, this is really important. I met you in the future and you were so nice and so kind and so intelligent, but you were so unhappy. You were sad because you weren't healthy. I know it doesn't feel like it right now, but all that garbage that you're eating, all the, the corn dogs and the, the, the chicken nuggets and all that stuff, it's hurting your body and you're gonna feel it when you're older. An older you, he's not a happy guy. He's, he's sad and he's tired all the time. He can't even run. He can't even play anymore. And he begged me, he begged me to come back here when you were still a child and tell you, tell your dad, don't give you that stuff anymore. You've got to eat vegetables and salads and fruits and fresh stuff and you're going to feel so much better and your future will be so much brighter. I know I can count on you, Remo. Good luck.